Hello everybody. Today I want to talk about accents and character languages in the game. Uh, so Dungeons and Dragons has many different languages. We've got uh, common, undercommon, we've got uh, primordial, we've got a whole variety of different languages that you can choose from and your character gains because of their background. Um, because of this I feel like there are a lot of opportunities that you have, as a, both as a player and as a DM, to be able to roleplay what is going on in your game. Um, just as we meet people in the real world who uh, are multilingual, uh, they are. You can tell where someone is from based on their accent, some something that they have. Everyone speaks common, um, depending on what part of the world you're in. Common could mean anything. Um, for me, it means English because I, I'm from America and we speak English as a common language here. But I can identify where someone is from or an area geographically where they are from because of how they sound when they are speaking common. Uh, for this reason, I have created in my game something that helps us to kind of immerse ourselves a little bit better into the world. So if your character or if you meet a character in the game, me as a dungeon master, I, I make it so that you can identify that this person probably speaks another language because of how they are talking to you. So, if you are finding yourself talking to a small bearded man, you're probably talking to one of the stout folk. That's right, we've got dwarves. We've got dwarves, and I like the classic, uh, very thick, very rich uh, accent that uh, is given to dwarves in both pop culture films and in uh, many other portrayals throughout the Dungeons and Dragons world out there. Um, so if you meet someone and they're having that kind of an accent, it's likely that they probably have spoken dwarf or gnomish uh, at some point in their life. Um, I like to use uh, an Icelandic Norwegian uh, heavy rich tone for people who speak draconic and the reason why I did this was because of uh, one of my uh, favorite uh, people who has created soundtracks and sound effects um, uh, they went through and did language samples and when I listened to someone speaking draconic it sounded like uh, someone who was speaking Icelandic um, while it was entertaining to listen to, I thought that that would be really interesting if you met uh, people throughout your world and they had that kind of that kind of thick accent. So uh, I use it to immerse my players. I use it to bring the world to a more believable and a more uh, a different level of verisimilitude that I think is that is lost when we don't use accents. I'm not saying that using accents is the only way to play Dungeons and Dragons, uh, nor am I saying it's required to be able to fully immerse yourself in your character. By no means is that what I'm saying. Uh, all I am saying is that as a player, I find it more enjoyable when I am my character and I have an accent where they're from. Or when I am a dungeon master and the party of adventurers is going through town and instead of just meeting uh, Boyard the Fletcher, uh, they're meeting Boyard from the north. And uh, they, they find themselves more uh, uh, drawn to characters who have that uh, a different way of sounding about them because not every person sounds exactly the way that you portray them. So that is it for uh, the tips for today. The, the only thing that I really wanted to get across was that if you as a dungeon master or you as a player character uh, want to get into using accents or using different languages, uh, I recommend doing it in your free time. Uh, I am a father. I have three and a half children. And it really, I really, it's hard for me to find time throughout the day to just practice. Uh, so sometimes when I'm disciplining my children or I am driving alone in the car, I will tend to fall into other accents to just talk to them in a regular voice. So they are left 
uh, not knowing if their father is actually uh, suffering some type of uh, mental trauma or if he is uh, just practicing. So um, I, I, I use those opportunities to try it out. Uh, there are amazing videos on YouTube for uh, trying to listen and pick up what you can on the key points of a different accent. Uh, honestly, if your players hear you doing the accent, they're going to just love it no matter how terrible you sound. Because you're not always going to sound convincing it's going to sound terrible in the beginning, but they're going to love it nonetheless. So, if you go out and do it, that's the most important part.